How's everybody doing today? It is March 10th, 2021. A little before 11 a.m. here in Michigan. I uh, hope everybody is doing well. Um, I have not been able to make videos for the past few days. I have actually been really, really sick. Um, yesterday I just started feeling better and um, after getting a bunch of fluids and uh, a lot of Gatorade, uh, Pedialyte, I uh, finally today am feeling, you know, back to, you know, close to 100%. So um, I am finally going to be able to be back on here now. It's like it just seems like every time there's something that is fighting me to not allow me to, you know, get this information out to you. But um, as of today, it's not going to happen anymore. I am going to be putting out a video every single day from here on out maybe multiple ones it depends but at least one video per day i'll be putting out for you okay unless something very very bad happens okay um i just think this is very very important with what is going on i see a lot of things that are coming together that i don't hear other people talking about so i really need to get this information out we're going to start here okay we see wyoming is to end the mask, man mask mandate okay so they're becoming the 17th state without the face covering rule okay so you've had you had multiple states that didn't even ever you know initiate a mask mandate okay uh, obviously me being in michigan that's not one of them uh we have one of the strictest uh mandates on them it's still pathetic around here um i would say to be honest though at least it's pathetic when it comes to the businesses that are still trying to force you to do it uh what's not pathetic is seeing the public um i am not kidding we have probably gone uh, we're, we're definitely under half now wearing masks uh, i would say it's probably 60 40 not wearing masks now um it's great to see you're seeing even you know your elderly people not wear masks now um, now I don't know if a little bit of that is because they went and got their their uh, you know their jab so they feel safe right that could be part of it but I mean even your younger generations that were still falling for this complete and total um, yeah the lie that it is um, you know they, they've at least opened up their eyes enough to see that it's not what they've been told okay you know the flu didn't disappear overnight and this just happened to replace it i mean i mean people you, you got to be ridiculous if you don't look into the information right but we're the ones that are wrong right because we look into the information but let's read this sorry uh, it says wyoming is dropping the mask mandate it says making it the 17th state that won't require its wet residents to wear face coverings in public uh, it says in recent weeks the governors of five u.s states texas mississippi iowa montana and north dakota have announced the end of a statewide requirements of making people wear masks that cover their nose and mouth to limit the spread of this okay 11 states never required a mask yeah so you got alaska arizona florida georgia idaho missouri nebraska oklahoma south carolina south dakota and tennessee those are all states i guess i should probably look into moving to right <laughs> probably better than Michigan. Uh, it says, while the governors of some states, including Alabama and Arkansas, have announced reopening roadmaps, they push back against stopping use of the mask immediately. It says, others such as Connecticut plan to loosen rules for businesses while still enforcing mask rules. I mean, this is just pathetic. Like, it's so frustrating to see all these places, all these restaurants around here that have gone under. Um, it, it's been devastating in Michigan what they have done with these 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 restrictions and these rules because of you know so-called you know you know CV right you know it's like they've just devastated they did exactly what they wanted to do they've not only devastated they've taken full control and now they're putting in their number one plan which is the jab okay and then after that it's the full and 100% complete control and watching your tracking tracing of everything that you're doing i mean this is what this is all entitled in okay it says connecticut's democrat governor ned lamont said on march 4th this is not texas this is not mississippi this is connecticut we are maintaining the mass okay well good for you right you know he says i think we know this it works how, what what do you mean it works uh, how do you know that it works okay what works it's just ridiculous i just get so sick of all what they say you know you know, we have much lower infections than those massless states. Well, then if you go and look at the records, that's not true. Some are higher, some are lower. So it's that's not true, okay? They, they just talk out of both sides of their mouth like they always have since the very beginning. You know, and you have Republican, and, I, and trust me, I am I am anti-government. I, I don't trust any of them. I don't believe any of them. 
Um, you know, that's why when it comes to supporting, you know, the left or the right, I, it, I just don't get into it anymore because I just know none of them are out to help us, okay? You know, yeah, we have to do what we have to do and you have to, you know, live by what we live with, right? You know, but still, I know that the one thing that I can tell you 100% fact is that I know they're lying to us on a daily basis and I know they do not have your best interest or your children's best interest, okay? That is the one fact that I can give you today. Okay, there's no other ones that I probably can tell you I know for sure that is one. Okay, you know, anybody, but you have, you know, Texas is got coming out, Greg Abbott saying on March 2nd, the state mask rule would end on March 10th and all businesses, this is the part that is important to me, all businesses will reopen at 100% capacity, but hope to God that the ones that, you know, there's going to be tons that will not ever reopen, okay, you know, but, but it's just really, really good to see some sign of, uh, and I'm not going to use that normalcy word at all like a lot of people do because that's not what's ever going to happen again, uh, but it's nice to see some of these restrictions coming off, okay, but you still don't fall for it, okay, because we have so much other things going on right now, okay, you know, look at, they're, they're talking about this right here, look at, see, because this is the whole thing right there, okay, that part of it, okay, right there, sorry, I didn't mean to click on that, look, that part, right and this is the whole thing okay it's nice seeing you know that look at all these other places look at wyoming is also saying look at they would be scrapped and the bars restaurants theaters and gyms could all reopen as normal on march 16th this is the part that is amazingly good with this okay but don't fall for what you see on the surface okay because they're always planning and plotting behind the scenes okay well what's coming what's coming around the bend okay um, I'm always trying to look a little bit out for us. You know what I mean? A little bit further out. Let's see what else is coming. Okay. Well, this. Okay. Right here. This is only a couple hours ago. This is... I'm going to read this article to you. Okay. Parts of it. All right. Um, and what I'm going to explain to you on this too is my feeling is this is just a... Uh, it's just... I believe it's more fear push than anything. So when I read you the numbers, don't don't think that I'm telling you that I believe all these numbers are true and that it's all what they're saying. But you need to understand that there's the reasoning why they're putting these articles out like this, okay? And why they're pushing this narrative and this agenda, right? It says, CV says, Brazil experts issue warning as hospitals are close to collapse. You know, they got to show, you know, the elderly patient and the, the heartwarming, you know, oh, Eric, you don't care. You don't care. No, no, I do care. That's the problem. You don't care, okay? You care about yourself because if, if you cared about your family and your children, you would look into it. You would do enough information searching. You would talk to enough people to understand that it's not what you're being told. Okay, it says health systems in most of Brazil's largest cities are close to collapse because of the CV19 cases. Its leading health is institute warns. It says more than 80% of intensive care unit beds are occupied in the capitals of 25 of the Brazil's 27 states. It says experts warn that a highly contagious variant, okay, this is that P1 variant, okay, that I was talking about a week ago when, okay, that I told you that they all told us that would be coming in March. How did they know it would be coming in March? I made a video back in December. When they said that this new Brazil variant, they even said Brazilian variant, Dr. Oz, that this would be coming in March. How, how do they know that? You know, it uh, just it frustrates me, right? But look, at Brazil is a threat to humanity, okay? <laughs> well, here, I want you to, there's, a, there's one important part in this. That's the reason I'm reading this, one really important part. We'll get to that in just a second. It says the country has recorded more than 266,000 deaths and 11 million cases since it began. You know, and this is another thing too that I want to say. You can build a number as high as you want if you want to continue to run the ticker. I mean, I, 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 right? When did they ever connect flu seasons? They don't. So why are they connecting these seasons? Why has it not stopped and then started again, right? Oh, well, it's, it never stopped in the middle. It doesn't matter. The point is the same as you can build up a, you know, a number as high as you want if you run the thing long enough. We are well over a year into this. People need to realize that, that you are 13, 14, 15 months into this. Yeah, that far. <laughs> do you still know somebody that's died from it? I don't. Nope. And if you do, do you believe that they died from it? Or do you believe they maybe died from the FLU or, you know, some case of pneumonia or, or, or whatever it is, you know, this year's strain of the FLU that we never heard about?
You know how they always told you about what strain was coming and this and that? You didn't hear any of that talk this year. No, because this was this year's strain. That's my opinion. Uh, it says, what's the situation in Brazil? It says, on Tuesday, the country recorded 1,972 CV deaths. You know, how do they, every day they know this, right? <laughs> A new daily record, anyways. It says, uh, 15 state capitals of intensive care units that are at more than 90% capacity, including Rio de Janeiro, Brasilia, and Sao Paulo. It says, two cities, Porto Alegre and Campo Grande, have exceeded their ICU capacity. Um, you know, and I'd like to do more digging into some of this, um, because, you know, what is their capacity? How big are these hospitals? How big are these cities? I don't know. I'm not going to say that they're big. I know these are big cities. Um, these ones, I don't know. I'm sure they're decently big or they wouldn't even be talking. They wouldn't even have IC, you know, enough ICU to talk about it, right? Um, but I mean, when they're talking, look at overload and even collapse of the health systems. You know, here's their thing. Look at this. It's gone up and then down and then skyrocketing, Okay. I mean, and really, you know, you can see it came down here. Look at it. It started to come back down and then march, right? Right when they told you. Bam. Skyrockets. I, you know, they can't just keep getting right. They can't keep hitting the lottery. It's like them hitting the Mega Million jackpot over and over and over again. They do it. Dr. F continues to do it. All the, you know, Johns Hopkins University continues to do it. How are they doing it, right? This so-called unknown thing that is so deadly and so unknown that they never know what's going on, and it's killed 268,000 people in Brazil, but yet they knew it was going to be there. But it still happened. Why did it still happen, right? Well, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why that they're telling you that this is all happening. I'll tell you, it's coming up real quick. The fight against CB19 was lost in 2020, and there's not the slightest chance of reversing this tragic circumstance in the first half of 2021. Now, there's a key part right there. In the first half of 2021, and when I read that, I'm like, hold on a second. Does this mean they're saying that something diff you know, something big is coming in the second half of 2021? That something drastic is going to have to be done to make this happen? That's what I feel. I've been telling you about how I believe the phases are going, okay? In how it goes, you know, phase one with the, the jabs, right? They got everybody. Phase one's done. Anybody that wanted it pretty much can go and get it now. Uh, well, you know, a certain age brackets, each, each, each state is different. But uh, I'm going to get into an article in just a second. Alaska has just made it. 16 and above can all go get it now. So they are almost fa out of phase one, okay? Phase one is almost completely complete, where it's anybody that wants it will go get it or is even signed up for it or something like that, okay? Then phase two is the one where they're trying to get everybody that's on the fence and might do it, might not. That's why you saw everybody and their mother, all your presidents, all your, you know, your famous actors and blah, 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 going and showing, oh, look at me, I'm rolling up my sleeve and look, it's safe, come and get it. They had to get the ones on the on the fence. Well, trust me, phase three hasn't started yet, but it will. I don't know when, but it will. Will it happen in the second half of 2021? Maybe. Maybe that's what they're trying to tell you is that they can't, this tragic circumstance can't be, there's no chance of reversing it in the first half of 2021. Well, why wouldn't they have just said reversing this, you know, in 2021? Yeah. Well, what's going to change it in the second half? Something's got to drastically change, right? Well, here it is. Let's listen. The best we can do is hope for the miracle of mass that. Do you understand what you just saw? I don't need to get into any other numbers. You know what I mean? I don't, I, I, I you know what I'll, I'll show you. I will read this one paragraph here because it talks about just the P1 variant. But that was the part that I, I had to have you see. The hope for the miracle of that. Yeah. Everybody, that phase three is coming. I don't know when it will be, but it's coming, okay? That's all I can tell you. You're seeing it everywhere. You're seeing, I had another article pulled up. I, I don't have it pulled up right now, but it would come out today talking about all these different restaurants and everything that have already mandated, mandated the jab. So if you work at these restaurants, bars, it was a list. It was a long list. Already had already mandated all their workers to go and get this. So yeah, they might, that, they'll continue to say it'll never be mandatory. But it'll be mandatory in a way that you cannot live without it. If you cannot work without it, you cannot feed your family without it. If you cannot go into a grocery store without it, you may have to have a, a bracelet on, a this, a that. Who knows what it will be, right? Yeah, it could be a chip. Who knows? But we don't know. It doesn't have to be a chip. Don't just sit there and say, oh, there's not. It doesn't have to be that, okay? 
says on Tuesday, the country also recorded more than 70,000 cases, a 38% increase on the last week. How convenient, right? And look, we're literally one week. Look, it's the 10th. So, so, so three days in, in one week in March, it had a 38% increase. When they told you it was coming in March, I covered it. Go back and find it. I'm not, I mean, I'm not making that up. They told us it was coming in March and I told you. I said, how do they know this, right? Look at this. It says the surge in cases has been attributed to the spread of a highly contagious variant of the virus named P1, okay, which is thought to have originated in the Amazon city of Manaus. That's it, okay? This is it. I'm not going to read all this, but see, this is all the fear part right here. Look at this. They're talking, oh, the immunity. You're not going to have your immunity. It doesn't matter. This thing could be twice as transmittable as the original version of the virus. This is the fear. And you know why I kept telling you, don't just fall for this. Everything opening back up to normal and everything going back to being perfect. Because how convenient does this fit into their system, to their agenda, right? They got have they, they always got to split everything, right? They got to divide us. That's how they're continuing to do this. Oh, look, these states are helping everybody. They're letting everybody go back. They're not making you wear a mask. But what does that do? It opens up the back door. It opens up the back door for this to spread according to them. Well, look, all these states took away the mask mandate. They opened up the bars, the restaurants, etc., etc. And now the P1 virus, as th that version, has taken over. What can we do now besides forcing or mandating the jab? Okay? I mean, I could be wrong. I am a lot. Hey, none of us are perfect, right? But I'm going to tell you, when you're seeing pictures like this, you know, I mean... This is a lot of fear and um, it, it's just a lot of, um, I think, stuff that you need to see that you just got to look ahead of this, okay? What they're showing you right now is never part of it, but you know, here's here's the Alaska one. We'll end this real quick. Uh, Alaska makes these available to those 16 or older becoming the first state to remove eligibility requirements. So this is what I'm trying to say. It's, you know, phase one is done. You know what I mean? The, the, each state is going to continue to, you know, within the next few weeks, I would imagine, maybe, maybe a month or so, I would imagine that all the states will, you know, say, oh, it's okay, you can go and do this. You can go ahead and get it. But I want you to listen to the numbers because the numbers are really, really good. The numbers will tell you something, okay? It says Alaska on Tuesday became the first state to remove eligibility requirements for the CV vax. It says making immunization available for anyone 16 or older who lives or works in the state. It says the state's governor, Republican Mike Dunleavy, announced the move in a news release calling it a historic step and another nationwide first for Alaska. It says the statement marked a turning point in the nation's immunization campaign and also a reminder that access to the shots has been highly uneven okay, throughout the country. So, so they're saying they did good, right? Some states are still reserving appointments for adults 65 and older in addition to high risk. Okay, It says, let's keep going, it says, but about a quarter of Alaska's residents have at least received one dose 25 percent that's it that, that, that should make you feel good this is a state that is allowing everybody to get it okay so you know everybody think about that i mean that, though that's good that those numbers are only at 25 percent yeah that might have been only 50 and above or whatever it was you know your, your health but i bet you if we look let's give it another month and we come back i bet you these numbers are about the same I bet you it's maybe 30%, maybe 35% that will go and get it. Even if it's maybe it's 50%, okay? We are making a difference is what I'm telling you. Do not stop talking about this. Do not stop spreading this information because you are making a difference. I've looked at the facts. I've looked at the numbers. Like in our state of Michigan, they're trying to say that, oh, it's because, of, you know, they, they try to say that it's the um, distribution. Oh, well, this person didn't distribute. This president didn't distribute it right. This governor didn't distribute it right. The plan wasn't done right. That's why these vaxes aren't getting out to the people. No, that's not true in most cases. Most cases, it's because you're not having the turnout. You're not having the people want it. You are having less than 50% of your medical staff and medical personnel even go and get it in the state of Michigan. That's amazing, right? Think about that. Your own nurses, doctors, you're having half of them that don't even want to get it. It's got to tell you something. But we'll leave it here. That was a pretty long video, but I wanted to get into some important information on this first video back. So hope everybody's doing good. We will uh, definitely be getting some good information out here. Um, so if you have anything, you know, that we need to talk about, throw it down in the comments or email me. My email is in the description. 
Um, if you have not subscribed to the backups, go ahead and go do that. Jump over to BitChute and jump over to the backup channel here on YouTube, Eric Sees All 2. Uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Have a great day. God bless.